share a draft vision with all Woodward Lane constituents and community members for more feedback. And as a result, made a minor modification to include the word barriers in our value statements, which we're going to do shortly. So what you see up here on the overhead, that is um, based on part of the mission audit that we had done. And these were words that we found were really, really important. And uh, so you see them in what we do now. So what have we got? I'll tell it to you. Value is the work value. With respect to paid work, 
at a minimum wage or better, short term unpaid work, and volunteer positions, people with intellectual disabilities have the right to the removal of barriers, preventing them from experiencing the community on an equal basis with other <coughs> citizens. So, two major studies came out this year with findings that directly correspond to the state. The World Health Organization published the World Report on Disability, which included a lengthy chapter dedicated to the issue of employment. And the Canadian Association for Community Living published Achieving Social and Economic Inclusion from Segregation to Employment First. In both cases, it is acknowledged that there are significant barriers to the employment of people with intellectual disabilities, but that employment in the community is a leading indicator of whether or not people with intellectual disabilities live in poverty and social isolation. In other words, it is a sweeping but mainly accurate generalization that people with intellectual disabilities who have paid jobs in the community are less at risk for poverty and marginalization. They have more money, they have more friends. Barriers to employment may be challenging, but we've already seen in this room tonight that they're not insurmountable. We can do or do not, but this value we choose to do. political life, the full range of human relationships, people with intellectual disabilities have the right to removal of barriers, preventing them from experiencing the community on an equal basis with other citizens. Playing together with others is an important part of how we get to know and appreciate one another as citizens. We believe in a community that plays together. If we cannot share social and recreational activities together, we'll never arrive at a community where everyone belongs. The more we all spend time together in social and recreational activity, the more we come to understand one another and we become better co-workers, better neighbors, and in many cases, friends.
ideas and with movement. And so be.